Previously in Starlight Exodus. I want all heavy artillery on that thing's limbs. Aim for the glowing eyes too. I'll handle this big one. Jean and Simon sprinted through the hangar, their hearts pounding with excitement and fear. They had trained for this moment, but nothing could have truly prepared them for the real thing. Together with Commander Drake, they approached their drone, a sleek, advanced piece of Martian technology. They could see the battle unfolding on the screen. The monstrous alien loomed over the battlefield, its segmented body pulsing with bioluminescent veins, and its claws tearing through metal and stone as if they were paper. The Martian mech, towering and formidable, was already engaged in combat with the creature, but it was clear that the alien was unlike anything they had faced before. The mech's plasma cannons fired round after round, but the alien's rugged exoskeleton absorbed much of the air, and its agility made it a difficult target. Boys, are you ready? Let's get this thing airborne. Simon nodded, his fingers flying over the controls as he initiated the drone startup sequence. The drone, Equipped with state-of-the-art weaponry and advanced AI, hum to life, its sleek wings unfolding, and its sensors activating. Ready, Jean? Simon asked, his voice steady despite the chaos around them. Ready. Jean replied, strapping himself into the control seat. He took a deep breath, his hands gripping the controls. Let's give that max some backup. The drone lifted off the ground, its engines whisper, quiet. But powerful, as it soared into the sky, Jean and Simon's view shifted to the drone's perspective. With a speed faster than the speed of sound, the drone managed to arrive on time. The battlefield below comes into sharp focus. The alien creature was relentless. Its claws tearing through the mech's armor, but the mech pilot was holding their ground, firing back with precision. We need to distract it. If we can draw its attention away from the mech, Jean said, his mind racing. Got it. Activating decoy protocol. Simon replied, quickly adjusting the drone's course. The drone deployed a series of small, glowing decoys. The decoys scattered across the battlefield, drawing the alien's attention. The creature hesitated, its multifaceted eyes flicking between the decoys, unsure of which target to attack. Now. Jean shouted. The drone swooped in its weapon systems locking onto the alien's exposed segments. With a burst of energy, the drone fired a concentrated plasma beam, aiming for the creature's bioluminescent veins. The beam struck true, slicing through the alien's armor and causing it to screech in pain. The Martian mech, seeing the opening, launched a counterattack. Its massive arm cannon unleashed a barrage of high-energy missiles, each one targeting the same vulnerable spot the drone had exposed. The missile struck with devastating force, and the alien reeled back, its exoskeleton cracking under the assault. We got it on the ropes. Simon exclaimed, excitement bubbling in his voice. But the alien wasn't done yet. With a roar, it lashed out with its tail, its spiked appendage whipping through the air and striking the drone. The impact set the drone spiral, its system struggling to regain control. Simon, stabilize it. Gene yelled, his hands working frantically at the controls. I'm trying. Simon gritted his teeth, his focus intense. With a few deft adjustments, he managed to steady the drone, bringing it back into the fight. But the alien was already closing in on the mech. His claws raised for a killing blow. We can't let it take out that mech. We need to go all in. Commander Drake said, determination hardening his voice. Agreed. Diverting all power to the main laser weapon of the drone. Gene replied. The drone system's word is power was rerouted to its primary weapon. Locked on target. Firing in three, two, one. Gene said, his voice tense. The drone unleashed its full power together with the next final beam, shooting a blinding beam of plasma that cut through the air and struck the monster's vulnerable
pole spot, hitting hard on the creature, leaving it dead center. The creature let out a final, agonized scream as the beam pierced through its body, its bioluminescent veins exploding in a shower of sparks and alien blood. The Martian mech, seizing the moment, delivered the finishing blow on the alien, using a giant saw. The creature collapsed to the ground, its body twitching, once before finally going still. Yes. Gene and Simon cheered, their voices filled with triumph. They had done it. They had helped to protect the colony, their home, from a threat unlike any they had ever faced. As the drone flew back, the weight of their mission settled on their shoulders. They had proven themselves today. In the aftermath of the epic battle that shook the Martian colony to its core, the towering avian creature lay defeated. The Martian military gathered the monstrous carcass and dumped it to the depths of the ancient Martian Paleo Ocean, where it was unceremoniously discarded. This act was not just a disposal, it was a declaration of human superiority and resilience. The message was clear, no other creatures would challenge humanity's place on Mars. The once terrifying specter of alien invasion faded into the background, a distant memory as no other creatures surfaced on Martian soil. The colony thrived, its people more united and determined than ever to turn Mars into their new home. Amidst this newfound peace, Jean and Simon were hailed as heroes together with Major Hartley and Commander Drake. Their bravery during the crisis had not gone unnoticed. The Martian military, recognizing their courage and quick thinking, awarded them with commendations, marking them as valuable assets to the colony's defense forces. But the recognition did not stop there. Governor Malik, the leader of Mars, invited all the military heroes to a ceremony in their honor. In the grand hall of the Martian capital, beneath the dome that separated them from the harsh reality of Mars, Jean and Simon stood side by side. The crowd erupted in applause as Governor Malik, a figure of authority and respect, his eyes, usually stern and calculating, softened as he looked at the two young boys who had shown such extraordinary courage. You have proven that bravery knows no age. Governor Malik began, his voice resonating through the hall. In our darkest hour, when the very future of our colony was at stake, you did not falter. You are a testament to the indomitable spirit of humanity. He presented them with medals, each engraved with the Martian name, a symbol of their contribution to the survival of the colony. The moment was surreal for Jean and Simon, who just months ago were regular kids dreaming of adventure. Now they were celebrated as heroes, their names etched into the history of Mars. As the ceremony concluded, Jean and Simon exchanged a glance, the same look of determination they had shared in the hangar before their first mission. They knew this was just the beginning. The challenges they had faced had only strengthened their resolve. Mars was their home now, and they would do whatever it took to protect it, and so, under the crimson skies of Mars, the colony flourished, its people united by the trials they had overcome. The threat of the alien creature had been vanquished, its remains lost to the depths of the Paleo Ocean, a symbol of humanity's triumph. Jean and Simon, recognized by the Martian military and Governor Malik, stood as symbols of hope and courage, ready to face whatever challenges the future might hold. Gene and Simon forged a new chapter in the history of Mars, a chapter that would be remembered for generations to come. The future of the Martian colony was secure, and Gene and Simon knew that they would continue to play a vital role in shaping that future. Standing as protectors of their new home, where no other creatures dared to surface again. <laughs>